After I spent about five minutes telling this friend of mine who was sitting with me at Chick-fil-A who I was and what I did, he turned to me and he said, yeah, but Todd, tell me that in two words. I thought for a minute and I said, I'm a product strategist. Hi, my name is Todd Boyum and I'm one of the founders at Fellowship Career Network. And I want to talk to you today about the three R's of the job search. And I don't mean the resume, the recruiter, or the references. <laughs> there might be a bunch of other R words too, but I have some specific ones of mine. And the very first one I want to tell you is the word remember. You know, I think when you're working for a time period and you're doing whatever it is that you do and your identity gets caught up in that. And sometimes people say your identity shouldn't get caught up in that, but that's kind of crazy because it's kind of part of who you are. And even though Christ might be our life, nonetheless, right, he's coming out of, out of us in the way in which we're called. And a big part of that is the way in which we work. So, you know, you're a product strategist, you're a project manager, you're, um, you know, a specialist of any kind, you're a leader, however you see yourself in the way you work. And then when you suddenly lose that work, you feel like you've lost your identity somewhat, at least until you can find some new work and plug back into that identity. And so you have this time period where you are a product strategist, and then you have this time period where you're not working, and then you have this another time period where you're a product strategist. And what I want you to remember first, and the white reason I think remember is a good word for the job search, is that you're still a product strategist. Just because you're in the middle of this transition doesn't mean you're not who you are. And I want you to remember to connect with who you are and continue being that even during this time period because how are your prospective uh, companies that are looking for you going to find you if you've quit being who you are, right? So do that anyway. Do it in your personal life. Do it in a volunteer capacity. Continue to live and be that even though, you know, you're momentarily not doing it for money for some company. Live out of that identity that you've crafted for yourself and continue to let that be your brand. Don't let your brand start to diminish just because you're momentarily out of work. So that's the first R. The second one is to realize. And there's a lot of things you could realize, but there's two things sp specifically I'd like you to really think about. One is uh, to integrate success. Now we live in a world uh, and most of the business culture is very fast paced and you complete a project and maybe you celebrate by sending a couple of emails out or maybe you go to a happy hour or something, but then you're right off to the next project and you never take some time to really integrate your success. And what I mean by that is, you know, not just to say, oh, we did this thing, but to say, I'm the kind of person who can do this thing. It's part of who I am. And so we, we go from event to event to event in leaving all of this coin, if you would, on the floor, all of these things that we can pull up and say, this is who I am. This is the kind of thing I can do and live in. This is a part of what I know that I'm about. And so I would encourage you to realize that you've left some of that coin probably and to really bring it back up and to put it back into who you are and then to, to put that into the things that you're going to share about yourself to really identify with that fully. So, you know, you have this time period to stop for a minute. In a way, the transition is kind of a gift to slow down and go, hey, I can realize these things. But the other thing I want you to realize is maybe some of the things that were obstacles or failures that you might think are failures from your past work. And, and maybe they were, but maybe there are things that are telling you that's just not really for you. Maybe it's stuff that you need to leave that doesn't serve you. And maybe it's some weaknesses that you need to leave and go and actually get some training on and get beyond. And you know you need to grow beyond that. Or, or maybe it's just something that you're saying like, that's just not really me. So I like to think about, you know, sort of dividing, like what is it that I really loved about the work? And I want to realize that 
and I want to be looking for that in my next place to be. And what is it that I did not really love? And I want to be jettisoning, jettisoning that, getting rid of that. So, you know, to realize there's pieces that you can leave behind, that you can take the best and get rid of the worst. And this is a great opportunity to, to hone in on that during this time period. And the last R is to reveal, right? To reveal all of this new stuff that you've remembered about yourself, that you've realized about yourself, to re-put that into your resume, to re-share that with recruiters, to, you know, find the references that can tell you that, and to also activate your relationships with this new knowledge about yourself and what you're looking for in your work. I hope that you'll activate these three R's and that you'll find the work that you really love. This is Todd Boyum. Fellowship Career Network, thank you.